What you doing? Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. This is Ro from Hillbillies, Ro and D. So today, I'm gonna be making a banana bread. And we're gonna go through that process. And I'm gonna show you how to do mine. Now, not everybody does a banana bread the same way. So, Everybody does different. Everybody like adds a little bit here or a little bit there. Please don't pay attention to a mess because I'm, I'm boiling some chickens up because they crossed the road and I got them. No, Kroger had a sale. Um, so I have two pots back here going with chicken. My oven is on 325 just to let you know that your oven has to be at 325. And this will cook for approximately, um, who knows? Because I forgot to write that down. And, hmm. I'm losing my mind, y'all. I'm going to say approximately 35, 40 minutes. Um, we're just going to make sure we watch it. And don't let it burn now. Oh, I forgot one thing. Y'all, you can't do banana bread without walnuts. Mr. D would have a fit if I didn't put walnuts in his banana bread. He'd probably end up throwing it at me. Where did his walnuts? There they is. So, <laughs> I got some walnuts. These are just the uh, organic, simple truth walnuts. And, um, so let's get started. In this bowl, I already have three-fourths cup brown sugar. Now, you don't have to use that, but I do. So, I have a half a cup of buttermilk, and I forgot to get something to stir this with. Because I had to make this myself. Um, that's a fork. That's a fork. Where is Oh. When you're not paying attention to stuff, so buttermilk, and, and this is nice. See that? That's good buttermilk. That's good consistency. I don't have buttermilk on hand, so I make my own. I take a half a cup of water and a teaspoon of lemon juice, um, and make my own. So I'm gonna pour this in here and let that all get all pretty. Say hi, brown sugar. Hi, we love you. We miss you here. Does that, does that help y'all? There, now y'all can see. So there, there's that. Now in this, I have a teaspoon and a half of um, vanilla mix. But I also add a teaspoon of banana extract. So I'm going to put that in there. The banana extract gives it that little extra little bitty flavor that you want to give it. So let's get these out of my way because I don't need those. <clears throat> oh, and we need eight tablespoons or one stick of butter, which we have right there. So let's get this put here. I'm, I'm going to lock this on. I'm going to go slow and low. Because I, I don't want to burn y'all's ears out. So, I need three eggs. And I always crack my eggs in something. Just in case. Because you never know if you're going to get a bad egg. I test them before I come live. And what I do is I put them in a mason jar. And I fill that mason jar with water. And, um... If they float, they bad. And even if you buy your eggs fresh from the grocery store, they can float. So, oh, let me get a towel, y'all. Oh. Lord, today my head is not attached. I've been working on that garden out there. I got 32 tomato plants planted today in their grow bags because, um, that's what we're doing, planting tomatoes and 
I got the garden, all of it in yesterday, beans and everything. So I'm gonna beat these a minute. And I know it's with a spoon, and I know it's probably saying cling cling with the Charlie. Ding ding with the bell. Ding ding. No. So I'm gonna pour that in there. So that's all the liquid we have. That's all the liquid we have. So, oh, forgot to add three bananas. Make sure your bananas are really ripe. These have some buttermilk on them already. So, you add three bananas in there, make sure they're ripe. Um, the darker the banana, the better. As long as it's not slimy, it's, it's, that's what you want. You want that dark, dark banana. Um, I was looking because I thought I heard something pulling over. So in this thing, right here, I have, um, in here, I have three ripe bananas, one teaspoon lemon juice, um, three beaten eggs, one half teaspoon vanilla juice, extract, one teaspoon banana extract, a half a cup of buttermilk. So, and then in this, I have two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt. I'm reading off this, y'all, because I ain't got that kind of brain anymore. One and a half teaspoon of cinnamon, three-fourths cup brown sugar, and then, of course, in this you got your you got your um, butter, your one stick of butter. So what I do is I sift my flour, not just once. I sift it twice because I want this thing to be fluffy as can be. And this is how you get it. Now you don't over mix your stuff, but you don't under mix it either. You just gotta go by the by the sight of it. If you've been baking for a while, you understand what I mean, because um. Once this goes in, you're going to bake it, let it, let it go for about a minute or two, and then you're going to stop and pull it out, because you don't want it to be too, too, um, over beaten. Some people say you can't over beat nothing, but I found in, in life that you can over beat something. So in this bowl, oh, it's got some. In this bowl, I'm gonna add my flour and all my other mixings. I'm gonna put that put that thing back down there. That's a piece of banana stuck on it. So I'm just gonna mix this for about a minute. And don't forget, add your walnut. Mr. D would kick my butt. I'm gonna do about a cup. So, I have big man hands, so I've been doing a lot of work. I got big hands. So, yeah, let's just use the rest of them. So, there's about a cup and a quarter in there. But this will make two, two, uh, two pans. So I'm going to pull, pull some flour down because I need a little flour for these dishes because you, you, I, I buttered the manure out of them, but you got, you got to put flour in it too because you don't, you don't want something that you work so hard on to stick. So we're going to just put that much in there and this much over here. It don't have to be a lot, but it don't have to, you got to use enough. That's the thing, enough. Oh, y'all can't see. Ugh. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm still getting used to all this business. So, what I do is you tap it. And I make sure I get my corners and my ends real good. Yeah, this makes a mess. That's okay. God gave me two hands to wipe it up. And a dishcloth. So, 
some people ain't messy. I tell you what, you put me in the kitchen, I'm messy. I'm messy, messy, messy. Always got my hands in dishes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up a little bit. And then we're gonna get this one covered. Oh, there goes more. I put too much flour in here, y'all. But it will come out in the garbage pan. And now I didn't hit it on the garbage can. I hit it on the side of my counter. So let's lift that up and see what she looks like. I forgot to grab me a scraper. <clears throat> you, you know, you do your kitchen. Everybody wants their kitchen. You know, oh, I want all these colors. I want, you know, this. I want that. Well, I was doing my kitchen in green. And then I was doing it in gray. But you know what? I prefer red. So everything's being changed. And I told my sister, I think I'm going to paint my kitchen red and pink. And she said, what? I said, yeah, I think I'll paint my kitchen red and pink. She said, oh, no. And she's like, that would look awful. Let's get this off of here because I don't need her anymore either. So we're going to take and we're going to put half the mix in one, half the mix in the other. Now you make sure you only fill it halfway full. Because this will rise. This will be like Jesus and rise up on you. But I've been out there working in my garden. That's why I ain't been doing lives, y'all. Or videos or whatever y'all call these thingamajiggies. Cooking show. Now, I could have probably done one of these. But, you know, I have a neighbor, Miss Gracie, and she loves baked goods. And Mr. D and I will eat maybe one of these. And Miss Gracie will probably eat one, too, because... She, she gets some of hers to her friend, her cousin, Anita. So, Miss Gracie gets some of her stuff to her cousin, Anita. Or a friend down the road named Miss Darlene. So, she shares her goodies. Um, I say, um, a lot, Lord. That'd be a bad drinking game, wouldn't it? Every time I say, um, take a drink. Y'all have already been smashed. I shouldn't have said that because I don't drink. I, I don't drink at all. I drink water. Sometimes I drink Coca-Cola. But that's very rare. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to... You do that because you want to make sure they're set in there. Now this one has less than this one and I know that. But see, Miss Gracie shares. So this one's for her, this one's for me. You wanna go back here and open your oven. That's set on 325, you wanna grab these two pans. Put them in there. And we'll be back once they finish to, uh, we'll be back once they finish to taste them. So I'll see y'all then. So this is what your bread looks like once it comes out. And you can cut it with a bread knife. And it's still a little too hot to eat. But that's what it comes out like. So I'm not gonna try it um, on live. I'm gonna try it once it cools off. So y'all have a great day, God bless. And remember, pray for each other, pray for one another. I watch a few shows, City Girl Homesteads, Ollie's has cooking and baking, and Peace B, with a capital B, still, P-E-A-C-E-B, still, is my sister. Y'all can go watch her channel, too. 
Thank y'all. Y'all have a great day. God bless. And always do it in your kitchen. I couldn't wait. Mmm. Bye, y'all. Mmm. That's good. Thumbs up. Bye, y'all. Have a great day. God bless.